Okay, great. So I'm getting a lot of answers. Question number three is decimal representation of a rational number cannot be, it can be terminating, it can be non terminating repeating, uh, it can be uh, uh, non terminating also but it can never be non terminating non repeating because if it is i was just explaining this if this is non terminating non repeating then it will become an irrational number it will never be represented in form of p by q so that's the answer second answer is um, sometimes uh, the product of any two irrational number let's take root 2 into root 3 so what does it give me it gives me um, root 6 so this is irrational but root 3 into root 3 gives me what 3 so this is rational so sometimes rational sometimes irrational the decimal expansion of number root 2 is it's a non terminating non recurring number because it's an irrational rational number which of the following is irrational? So root four by nine will give me two by three. This will give me 12 by th uh, root 12 by three, which is four. So this will give me two. This will give me nine. So this is my irrational number, root seven. Now, as soon as you look at a bar in front of the number, uh, sorry, above the number, uh, it gives me an idea that the same number is getting repeated time and again. So here, uh, 0.14 can be written as 14 by 100 so it is rational this can be written as uh, this can be converted into uh, a rational number i will tell you in the further question similarly this can be converted so these are not my answer irrational number is this because if you look at it there is no proper uh, uh, repetition here so this is not repeating itself now i was taking a, a taking an example of root 2 and 3 so root two and three the rational number in between so addition of two irrational number is is irrational so this cannot be my answer now root two into root three is again root six which is irrational so that this cannot be my answer and root two is nearly 1.41 and root three is 1.73 so 1.8 is beyond that limit so here answer is 1.5 so uh, you can check the answer using that so that's the answer now let's go to question number 9 to 13. so for the first one won't it be approximately yeah obviously it would be approximately But this is repeating, right? So this can be written in uh, written in form of 1.9 bar. So there is no question of approximately. You can uh, convert it into proper values. Okay. So I'm getting few answers now. Okay. Two two more minutes for these questions. Not more than that. Okay. I think I should solve these questions. Uh, first question is. Uh, I have to convert 1.999 where 9 is repeating infinitely in p by q form. So I can do it like this. So I assume x to be 1.999 where 9 is repeating infinitely. So x is 1.9 bar. So what we do is generally the idea is that we get repeating portion once in front of the decimal so here repeating uh, portion is only 9 and to get 9 out of the decimal we need 10 so i multiply it with 10 i get 10x is equal to 19.9 bar and then i subtract this so 10x minus x is 9x and 19 minus 1 is 18.0 because 9 bar and 9 bar gets cancelled out so this comes out to be 18 by 9 and 18 by 9 is equivalent to 2. So the answer is 2 out here. So this particular part will give me an answer 2. Now this is what? This is 2 root 3 plus root 3. So if irrational parts of uh, two irrational numbers are same, we add their rational portions. So if I have a root b, plus c root b it would be a plus c root b 
So here I have two root three plus one root three. That would be two plus one root three. That is three root three. Then I have root ten into root fifteen. So root a multiplied by root b is nothing but root ab. If root ab, I write it root ten into root fifteen, which is equivalent to root one fifty. Now root one fifty. What I do is I prime factorize this number. So one fifty. If you divide it by two, you get seventy five. Then you divide it by three, you get twenty five, and twenty five is five into five. So you can write two into three into five into five. So here, whatever is inside the square root, whatever is repeating itself, will come out once. So five is coming two times. Five will come out once. So it is five root six. So what do you get here? Five root six here. Now, uh, so till now I am getting answers like this. It is C, C, and uh, B. Now let me move to other two questions. The other two questions are something like this. So here I have to rationalize it. Rationalization happens with changing or 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 taking um, conjugate of the sign in in between. Conjugate means. Conversion of negative to positive or positive to negative. So I can do that. So I write one by root seven minus two multiplied by root seven plus two because here it is negative and root seven plus two. So in numerator root seven plus two is there. In denominator it is x minus y multiplied by x plus y format. Which is x square minus y square. So root seven square is seven minus two square is four. So this comes out to be root seven plus two by three, which is your answer A. So the next answer is A. And I saw a lot of you giving answer C because you didn't take two square. Now let me go to the same thing. Now look at here. There is only one place where in the denominator. Uh, where there is an uh, there is a denominator which is option B. So first I'll check option B whether option B B is correct or not. Now I know that root nine is nothing but three and root eight is two root two. But if you look at the sign in between, the sign in between is negative. So it can be three minus two root two. It will not be three plus two root two. So what I do is I will multiply it with conjugate. So numerator is root nine plus root eight. Denominator is nine minus eight, which is equivalent to I can write numerator as three plus two root two divided by nine minus eight is one, which is option D. So it is C C B A D. That's the answer for these questions. Okay. Now let me move to. Another type of questions, and uh, let me give you some difficult questions now. Now, uh, so now let's move to some difficult questions. Okay, go to question nine. Not question nine. Okay, question eleven. Can you solve first part of question eleven? Okay, I have got two answers till now. So someone is giving fifty-nine. Someone is someone is giving eleven. Okay, should I solve this question? Enough time for this question, I think. Okay, let me solve this question. It is five plus two root three divided by seven plus four root three. So if it is five plus two root three divided by seven plus four root three, five plus two root three divided by seven plus four root three, the only way to remove Denominator is to rationalize it. How do I rationalize it? So I multiply it with the negative in between because here it is positive. So I take opposite. 
so 7 minus 4 root 3 now let me first look at the denominator the denominator is the denominator is 7 square is 49 minus 4 square is 16 into 3 48 5 plus 7 is 35 here 5 minus 4 root 3 is minus 20 root 3 2 root 3 uh, into 7 is plus 14 root 3 and 2 root 3 minus 4 root 3 is minus 8 into 3 because root 3 into root 3 is 3 and 2 into 4 is 8. So what do I get? I get uh, 35 minus 24 which is 11 minus 6 root 3 divided by 1. So I am not writing 1. So if I compare it with a minus 6 root 3 the value of k comes out to be equivalent to 11. So that's your answer. So now let me move to another question and this question which i am selecting is find out the value uh, find out uh, question four here and then i would also like you to solve question 12. no first you solve question 11 fourth and then 12. okay um two three more minutes Okay, I'm getting different answers. That is very interesting. Okay, enough time for question 11, 4. Now solve a question 12. So if you have finished the both of it, which question should we do? Then go to question 13. And solve first question of 13. But don't post the answers. Post the answers only when I tell you, fine? Okay, a lot of uh, uh, answers are coming. Now, I want to uh, give answer to this question first. This is a very good question. And the question is uh, something like this. So it's 7 plus 5 root 3 divided by 7 minus uh, 7 plus root 5 divided by 7 minus root 5. Negative of 7 minus root 5 divided by 7 plus root 5. One way to solve this question is that uh, you take... Uh, uh, you rationalize the denominator here and then you start solving the question. Now, once you rationalize the denominator here, please try to understand. You take 7 plus root 5 divided by 7 minus root 5. So, you have 7 plus root 5 here divided by 7 minus root 5 here. So, this gives you nothing but 7 plus root 5 whole square. So 7 plus root 5 whole square is nothing but 7 square is 49, root 5 square is 5, plus 2 into 7 into root 5, which is 14 root 5. So that is nothing but 54 plus 14 root 5. And in the denominator, you will get 49 minus 5. That is equal to what? 44. So this gives me nothing but 44. So the first part is this. Next part is 7 minus root 5 divided by 7 plus root 5 multiplied by 7 minus root 5 divided by 7 minus root 5. So this is 7 minus root 5 square. So this will give you 49 plus 5 minus 14 root 5. Just let me write on the other side here. 49 plus 5 minus 14 root 5 divided by 44. So this is nothing but 54 minus 14 root 5 divided by 44. Now what happens? I have to subtract this. When I subtract this, so I get here 54 plus 14 root 5 by 44 and minus 54 here. Negative, positive will become negative this due to this negative. And this negative will become positive. So I write plus 14 root 5 and everything divided by 44 because denominator is same. So this 54, 54 gone. So I get 28 root 5 divided by 44. I divide it by 4. I get 7 by 11 root 5. 
Now, when you compare here, there is no rational part. So A would be equal to zero. And in irrational part, it is seven by 11 root five. So B would be equal to one. Now, uh, my question is, do you have to do these things separately? No, you don't have to do these things separately. Actually, if you look at the denominator, if you find the LCM of the denominator, actually you can solve the question in much shorter way. So LCM of the denominator is seven minus root five multiplied by seven plus root five, which is nothing but 45, 49 minus five. Cross multiplication will give you seven plus root five whole square minus this will give you seven minus root five whole square. Now I know that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is nothing but 4ab. So this can be written as 4 into 7 into root 5 divided by 44, which gives me nothing but 7 by 11 root 5. So this takes only three steps to solve the question. Now, if it is 7 by 11 root 5, then my value of a comes out to be zero and value of b comes out to be one. So with, I think this method is actually very convenient to solve rather than the previous me method. So if rationalization is at most of utmost importance, you can take the first method. But in any competitive exam, if this kind of question is coming, suppose in front of you in NTSC or some, somewhere else, you can utilize this method and find out the answer. So it, it's very necessary that uh, you can um, find out the answer uh, with the, you know the methods by which you can find out the answer. Uh, two, three methods, if you know, that is always very, very beneficial. Now let me solve the second question, which is question number 12. So A is equal to two plus root three. Uh, let me find out 1 by a. 1 by a is 1 by 2 plus root 3. And then I multiply it with 2 minus root 3 here and 2 minus root 3 here. So this gives me nothing but 2 minus root 3 divided by 4 minus 3, which is equivalent to 2 minus root 3. Now I have 2 plus root 3 minus 2 minus root 3. So which is equal to 2 plus root 3 minus two plus root three. So two, two gone. This gives me two root three. So that's the answer. So two root three is the answer here. Now let me solve a few more questions and those questions. Let me select a few questions from here. And I think at the last, there are a few long answer type questions. So why don't you solve question number? Mm, seven first and then we will solve one or two more questions from here long answer type questions so first solve question number seven let me know once you are done with the questions okay i have started getting a few answers now all answers are coming out to be same out here so let me check if anyone is getting any other answer few more answers now Okay, so I'm getting few answers. I've got four answers till now. Two more minutes for this question. Though it could have been solved till now, but still I'm giving you two more minutes. Two more answers I've got. It's coming out to be same. Okay, let me just solve these questions. It's already enough time for this. Uh, before I solve this question, I want to teach you a few concepts about this question. So what is happening here is suppose I have 216 to the power, whatever, two by three. I'm, don't take it from the perspective of question. Just try to understand the concept here. Now, if it is 216 to the power two to the power three. Now I, the basic objective of solving this question is to remove this two by three. This is the main concept that how can I remove two by three? And by removing two by three, I won't have any problem if numerator is there. I have problem till, but till the time there is a denominator in the power because we are not actually comfortable with powers having denominator. So I have to write six in such a format, which is which has a power three 
or multiple of three so that this denominator three can be cancelled out. What I'm saying is it is a to the power p by q. Now a has to be written in, in some format where it is, con it is converted into c to the power q multiplied by p by q so that this q cancelled out or d to the power n into q multiple of q so that again q can be cancelled out. So basic objective of solving these question, questions is to cancel out the denominator in the powers given and then simplify these questions. So having, having told you uh, uh, these uh, things, now what I want to do is I want to write it as First of all, everything is ne negative, so it goes in the de uh, numerator. So 216 to the power 2 by 3 plus 256 to the power 3 by 4 plus 2 into 243 to the power 1 by 5. Now, I know 216 is 6 cube. 256 is nothing but 2 to the power 8, but here 4 is there. So 2 to the power 8 will also do, or I can write 2 square to the power 4, which is nothing but 4 to the power 4. So this can be written as 4 to the power 4. 243 is nothing but 3 to the power 5. So you write 4 into 6 cube multiplied by 2 by 3 plus 4 to the power 4, 3 by 4 plus 2 into 3 to the power 5 to the power 1 by 5. So this 3 and this 3 gone, I have 6 square, 36. So I have 4 into 36 plus 4 to the, this 4 and 4 gone. So 4 cube is 64 plus this 5 and 5 gone. So 2 into 3 is how much? 6. So I have 144 plus 70. 144 plus 70 is nothing but 214 that's my answer now i would like you guys to solve because i started the class at 855 i would uh, uh, take it till 95 i quickly i would like you to solve uh, uh, this question 5 and uh, question 3 quickly take two minutes each to solve these questions and give me the answer Okay, I've started getting answers. Okay, Aditya has given me some answer. Then uh, Adit has given me some answer. Similarly, Nikhil has given me some answers. So good. Okay, let me solve uh, these questions. Uh, but I have not got answers. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes to solve these questions. No problem. Solve it. Take your time. I've got three more answers. Ninth one is hey, where is the ninth one? I have given you question number five and three. Rash now. Pushagrik saying fifth one is ten. Maybe I'll have to solve these things. I uh, don't have ready made answers. So uh, I'm happy that most of you are giving me answers now. What I do is definitely I like to solve this question. Now I want to discuss this question, question number five, and then I want to give you an answer. So question number five is nothing but, oh, you mean the fifth one, oh, no issues, no issues, Vash, no. Good, I'll, I'm just doing the question. Mm -hmm. Just look at the question now. X is three plus uh, sorry root three plus root two divided by root three minus root two and y is root three minus root two divided by root three plus root two. I have to find out value of x square plus y square. So there are two options i can directly find the value of x square for that what i'll have to do is for that i'll have to uh, uh, take the square of this three plus 
root 2 divided by 3 minus root 2 and start taking the square. So I take square of numerator, then I take square of denominator. The problem is, uh, this is root 3, I'm sorry. The problem is, I uh, if you look at these numbers properly, if you take it, take the conjugate or sorry, or if you rationalize this denominator, so if you rationalize this denominator, you get root 3 plus root 2 in the denominator. And once you multiply it, you get th 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. So what I do is I will rationalize it first because once I rationalize it in the denominator, 1 comes and then whatever is numerator, I'll square it and add it over here. So x is equal to root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 and I multiply it with root 3 plus root 2 and here I multiply with root, root 2. So this is nothing but root 3 plus root 2 whole square divided by uh, root 3 minus uh, uh, root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus root 2 so 3 minus 2. So this gives me 3 plus 2 plus 2 root 6 divided by 1 so which gives me 5 plus 2 root 6 and this is the value of x what would be value of y value of y would be equivalent to just look at here value of y is root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2 so i multiply it with root 3 minus root and this is root 3 minus root 2 denominator is 1 so I'm not writing this is root 3 minus root 2 whole square so it gives me nothing but 3 plus 2 minus 2 root 6 so this is 5 minus 2 root 6 now I have to take square of this so this is uh, x square would be equal to 25 plus 2 root 6 is 4 into 6 24 plus um, 5 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 2 is 20 root 6 and y square is similarly 25 plus 24 minus 20 root 6. So if you add it, I get 50 plus 48, 25 plus 25 is 50, 24 plus 24 is 48 and this gets cancelled out. So my answer here is 98. Now let me move to the other question. The other question is, I will rationalize it. So the other question is 4 divided by 3 root 3 minus 2 root 2. So the other question is 4 divided by 3 root 3 minus 2 root 2. Plus uh, the other portion is, 3 divided by 3 root 3 plus 2 root 2. So 3 divided by 3 root 3 plus 2 root 2. So this is nothing but 12 root 3 plus 8 root 2. Sorry, root 2. And this is 9 root 3 minus 6 root 2. Why I'm doing by this method? Because already both positive and negative are available in the denominator which will give me a rational value in the denominator so 3 root 3 square is 9 into 3 27 2 root 2 square is nothing but uh, what do you get 8 so you get 21 12 plus 9 is 21 root 3 minus 2 root 2 8 minus 6 is 2 divided by 27 minus 8 is 19. So I now keep the values. So 21 multiplied by 1.732 minus 2 into 1.414. I think 414 only has been given. Yes. And uh, divided by 19. So 21 into 2 is 42. So 4 is carry forward. 21 into 3 is 63 plus 4 is 67. So 6 
21 into 7 is 147 plus 6, 153. So 3, 15. And 21 plus 15 is 36. So this gives me 36.372. Minus this gives me 2.828 divided by 19. Now when I subtract this, I get 12 minus 8 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. Here I have 3. So uh, um, 13 minus 8 is 5 and then I have 5. 5 minus 2 is 3 and then I have 3 here. So 33.544 divided by 19. So 19 into 1 is 19 and then I have 14 here. So 145 and 145 it goes um, how many times? It goes um, 19 into 7 is 133. So 145 12 124 so it goes six times so 114 104 and it goes five times so 95 90 so <clears throat> it is near, nearly equivalent to 1.765 so i hope that uh, you are understanding this one second so what are what answers you guys are giving me uh, i got 1.765 rest all uh, I'm not getting any answer. So this should be the value, I think. So I hope you Charles. enjoyed the class. Charles. Sorry? Yes. Charles, send the value. The value that you have sent is how much? 2.063. 2. No, that's not right, I think. Okay. So I no, think cause for cause cause for me in the end it was uh, it, it came out like uh, uh the thirty nine point two by nineteen. Okay, let me check once. Maybe you are right. Let and me check. and I have got thirty six point three seven two plus two point eight uh, two eight. Yeah, actually you are right. There is a calculation mistake here. So this has to be eight minus six is positive. So this is positive. So actually we need to add it. So how much did you get there? Uh, uh, we, I got 39.2. Uh, this is 39.2. Yes, it will be uh, 2 plus uh, 8 is 0. So 0 and 3 plus 8 is 11, 12, 39.2. So this gives me 2.063, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's the answer. No issues, some calculation mistake, which is my habit from long time. So I have, it has costed me a lot of things in life. So you should not do calculation mistakes. Fine? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Who supported me with this? What's sir, uh, Aditya Kumar. Where, which school do you come, Aditya? NPS YPR. Oh, YPR. Good, Aditya. So thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed the class. Um, there was some benefit from the class and uh, wish you all the best. Um, there is a test tomorrow um, at from 9 to 10.30. You all know about it? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So wish you all the best for that, that test. Um, okay, sir. Give your best, put, uh, uh, use your best potential there to apply um, best of the concepts possible and then then get best of the results thank you so much for joining the class thank you, and uh, wish you all the best for tomorrow's test thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you aditya thank you for correcting you sir thank you sir bye bye